the last thing we got is Resident Evil 4 Remake. It's out. I've played it. Let's get to talking about it. So, <laughs> my only experience with the original was actually playing the a bit of the VR version on um, Oculus. So, this mm-hmm. this um, was my first time playing what most considered to be the best Resident Evil of all time. It's, all, it's one of the greatest games of all time. And honestly, it deserves both of those titles again. Um, if, this, <laughs> if this came out before Dead Space Remake, I probably would be talking about it the same way I did these Dead Space Remake. But unfortunately, I feel like because... Um, it kind of took some of the gas out of my tank when it came to survival horror that mm. I'm not going to be praising it as highly as Dead Space. I still think, until further notice, if, if Spider-Man comes out this year, Dead Space is my game of the year. But it's stupid fun. It's it's so good. And um, despite being a remake, as I feel like it's weird as it sounds, um, it's a clear evolution of the last two remakes, if that makes sense, which obviously it would be because it's a remake of a game that was the revolution of the two games before that. Um, right. Just like the original games, the, the action of to horror ratio has slowly been pushed towards the action from like two remake to three remake to four remake but mm-hmm. it still manages to be um very charming with the amount of horror and camp so a lot of people were afraid that um they were gonna try to make it more scary and therefore maybe even remove some of the action and remove some of the campiness and goofiness from the original resident Evil 4 they didn't and everybody who played the original thousands of times because it's you know a lot of people's favorite game have said that it is a very faithful um edit um oh, excuse me remake um where's everybody going bingo yeah, <laughs> that was great um for example the regenerators are one of the most horrifying things i've ever seen in a video game so <laughs> i first encountered regenerators in resident evil 3 remake and they were just these thin pale naked faceless zombies kind of like slender man mm. but not super scary in Resident Evil 4, they go full on Slender Man. They're way taller. Their bodies are more unproportionate with like super long arms and they're like in a shape of a pear. And they move unnaturally. It's very creepy. And like they wiggle a lot and then they stretch their arms out to hit you across the goddamn room. Ugh. And if you shoot off their legs, mm-hmm. they flop around at frightening speeds like a fish to try and grab you. It's horrifying. And this all happens in pitch black, by the way. Uh, Ugh, gross. And I don't know if you can tell by their name, but they can regenerate and are damn near immortal. And you have to find a specific, like, scope that can, like, see through their body so you can find their three hearts and try to hit them. And, and let me tell you what. You will waste a lot of ammo trying to hit those hearts if you aren't playing on mouse and keyboard. So... I waste a lot of ammo trying to hit those hearts, and eventually it was just like, I waste a lot of ammo, I'm just going to run. So I'm currently in the middle of my second playthrough. Next time I see a regenerator, I'm shooting off their legs and I'm running. <laughs> it's not worth it. They're horrifying. Yeah. I was running for my life. I was so scared. It, it was so creepy. Um, I'm scary. But speaking of tough enemies, the bosses are, mwah, they're so good. As a lover of hack and slash games, and like we were just talking about Final Fantasy 16 bosses looking amazing, the great bosses are a must for me. And Resident Evil 4 has some of the best bosses in the, the franchise so far as I've played. Um, from a giant mutated fish in a lake, which in my playthrough, which I upped the difficulty in, was mildly annoying, and I kept dying, and I was so mad. But the first time it was like hella easy, and I didn't die once. But um, to a giant mutated person, and by giant, I mean like like a jack and a beast off giant. Like they're still mostly humanoid. They're not just like... Like they're not, they're not like your usual giant tentacle giant <laughs> Resident Evil boss. Mm. They were like a literal giant person type monster. To a mutated soldier that reminds me of the main protagonist from Prototype. If you've ever heard of the Prototype series, uh, I love Prototype. That's one of my favorite uh, games. Okay, we're gonna have to have a, talk, a discussion about Prototype at some point because <laughs> I either need a new one or a remake of the first one. For real, I played it. Well, not played it. I watched someone play it. Probably when I was way too young to be watching so someone play. Prototype. I played. I played. I played the first one through at least twice. And recently, mm-hmm. my brother asked me to buy the second one for him on Xbox. And because our can uh, accounts are connected, it automatically downloaded onto my Xbox. And I went into my, like my games to like play something. At one point, I was like, "Why the hell is Prototype Two here?" But I'm probably gonna play it eventually. But yeah, Prototype's amazing. Really? And he looks like Alex Mercer, like with the giant blade on his arm. It's, it, it's very cool and it was a very fun boss fight that really um used like um the knife which was dope um mm. but yeah it's it's a real good game um but without spoiling anything based on certain things revealed in the story they are 
hundred percent during a Resident Evil Five remake. Nice. My only question is, will they do another remake of Resident Evil One beforehand? Because for those who don't know, you know they actually remade Resident Evil One for the GameCube and the PS Two. Um, and I think maybe it was on Xbox Two, and then they I think they remastered that remake for uh mm. for like Xbox Three Sixty and PS Three. And I think it might also be on Wii. So. They already remade it before, but it's remade in the style of the original where it still has fixed cameras and it still has tank controls. Whereas the modern remakes remove all of that stuff. So I'm wondering if, before they do Resident Evil 5, if they'll remake Resident Evil 1 because, as you know, Wesker is the main villain of Resident Evil 5. And, right. Um, if you, like, based on like the games that we have remade so far, you don't know who Wesker is. Wesker isn't in 2, he isn't in 3, and he isn't in 4. And if you just jump the Resident Evil 5 and you have this villain, Wesker, who has this, like, history with Chris, who was also the, one of the main protagonists in the original Resident Evil 1, it, it would be confusing for, for the people who have only been playing the remakes and aren't huge Resident Evil fans. So they would, I feel like they would have to do a remake of Resident Evil 1, another remake, before a remake of Resident Evil 5. That way people aren't confused about both Chris and Wesker because they've had limited experience with Chris and Wesker through the last few games. Right. So, to me, that makes sense. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't, but I think they will. Because I feel like they, one, they've gotten their groove. So, people were a little bit upset about Resident Evil 3 because they cut this one section of the game out of it. Overall, because I haven't played the original Resident Evil 3, I thought it was good. It was nice, short, and sweet. It was fine. Um, it's a it's a good place to play that game. Um, I, I do, I think it would be dope if they made a version of it. Because the original Resident Evil 3 was called Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. It'd be cool if they made an edition of the game called like the Nemesis edition, like Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, where they actually added that level that they removed. I think that, that would be I cool. think that would be dope. Um, but Resident Evil 4, they learned their lesson, and you know, it's literally been getting 10 out of 10s. So if they do, so I think that because they are going to continue to do remakes, I don't see them not eventually doing Resident Evil 1. And I think, like I said, it would make sense that they do Resident Evil 1 before Resident Evil 5. The question is, right. will, will they do Resident Evil 6? Because <laughs> Resident Evil 6 is a game that people don't like a lot. Yeah. So they would have to either... They would have to, like, essentially make it a completely different game. So mm -hmm. either so either they remake it and Loki completely remake it. <laughs> or they just don't do it at all because it's not worth touching because people don't like it. And they don't feel like completely making a new version of that game. But Resident Evil 5 is a mixed bag for a lot of people. It For a lot of people, it was the first step towards what they didn't like about Resident Evil 6. Whereas a lot of people, despite that, still really enjoyed it. Like myself, I've never played it in its entirety. And you've said before that you've played it, right? Which one? Resident Evil 5. I didn't play it. I watched someone play it. Yeah. You said you watched, like, a friend play it or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, but it's also co-op, so I feel like you could have played it with that friend, unless it was, like, two friends. But, yeah, it's two friends. They were playing co-op together. <laughs> yeah, but if, if they remake it, we're we, we going to have to play co-op on Resident Evil 5 together. Oh, okay. yeah. But, yeah, that's um, yeah, that's all I got. Resident Evil 4 was great. Um, I liked it a lot. Anything you got before we wrap this up? Nope, that's all I got. 